Elite Facts presents 10 Strange Things You Didn't Know About Planet Earth 10. The Earth's continents are thought to have collided to become supercontinents and then broken apart again several times in our Earth's 4.5 billion year history. The most recent supercontinent was Pangaea, which began to break apart about 200 million years ago. The land masses that comprise Pangaea eventually wandered into the current configuration of continents. 9. Life on Earth may have been just as purple as it is green today, suspects Shil Desarma, a microbial geneticist at the University of Maryland. Ancient microbes, he said, might have used a molecule other than chlorophyll to harness the sun's rays, one that gave the organisms a violet hue, he suggests. Desarma thinks chlorophyll appeared after another light-sensitive molecule called retinol was already present on early Earth. Retinol, today found in the plum-colored membrane of a photosynthetic microbe called halobacteria, absorbs green light and reflects back red and violet light, the combination of which appears purple. The idea may explain why even though the sun transmits most of its energy in the green part of the visible spectrum, chlorophyll absorbs mainly blue and red wavelengths. 8. Rocks can walk on Earth, at least they do at the Pancake Flat lake bed called Racetrack Playa in Death Valley. There, a perfect storm can move rocks, sometimes weighing tens or hundreds of pounds. Most likely, ice-encrusted rocks get inundated by meltwater from the hills above the playa, according to NASA researchers. When everything's nice and slick, a stiff breeze kicks up and whoosh, the rock is off. 7. Earth may once have had two moons. A teensy second moon spanning about 750 miles wide may have orbited Earth before it catastrophically slammed into the other one. This titanic clash may explain why the two sides of the surviving lunar satellite are so different from each other, said scientists in the August 4, 2011 issue of the journal Nature. Some scientists claim Earth has two moons concurrently. According to researchers reporting in the December 20, 2011 issue of the planetary science journal Icarus, a space rock at least 3.3 meters wide orbits Earth at any given time. They're not always the same rock, but rather an ever-changing cast of temporary moons, say the scientists. 6. Earth is not a perfect sphere. As Earth spins, gravity points toward the center of our planet and a centrifugal force pushes outward. But since this gravity-opposing force acts perpendicular to the axis of Earth and the Earth's axis is tilted, centrifugal force at the equator is not exactly opposed to gravity. This imbalance adds up at the equator, where gravity pushes extra masses of water and Earth into a bulge or spare tire around our planet. Five. 70% of the planet is covered in ocean, but humans have only explored 5% of it. That's strange, considering the fact that the ocean holds nearly 20 million tons of gold and the Earth holds more than its share of greed. Granted, most of the gold is diluted, each liter of seawater contains about 13 billionths of a gram, but there's enough undissolved gold on the sea floor to put 9 pounds in every pocket on Earth. Four. Volcanoes aren't the only things that explode gas and magma. Lakes do that too. In Africa, on the borders of Cameroon, Rwanda, and the Democratic Republic of the Congo, there are several lakes that sit above volcanic earth, which results in large pockets of dangerous gas being trapped beneath them. If they were to explode, they would asphyxiate any passerby. 3. Gravity is not distributed equally. Places like Hudson Bay in Canada actually have less gravity than other regions of the globe. This is due to the fact that there is less land mass in that part of the planet, thanks to both the retreating glaciers on the surface and the swirling magma deep in the core. 2. The rocks you're standing on get recycled. Volcanoes spit them out as magma, they dry, harden, and after a very long time either get sucked down again by plate tectonics or get pushed towards Earth's core by a fresh layer of rocks above. Rocks that end up as magma are rocks closer to the Earth's core, where the heat rises to a peak of around 6,000 degrees Celsius. In comparison, the boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius. The hottest temperature ever recorded on Earth's surface was 57.8 degrees Celsius in El Azizia, Libya, recorded in 1922. One. Standing on that equator, you would be spinning around Earth's center at 1,000 miles per hour. 
At the poles, however, you would be standing still and turning in a circle. This is due to the position of the poles being at the top and bottom of the planet's axis, where there is minimal movement. You would still be hurling through space at 67,000 miles per hour, though. Don't forget to like us and subscribe for more Elite Facts. Thank <laughs> you.